good morning, Trinity family. This is Pastor Jeff here. You may have noticed I am not Pastor Debbie. She's, of course, normally the one who leads our Tuesday morning daily devotional, but she's on a well-deserved break right now, so I'm just filling in a little bit. It gives me a pleasure to give you a little devotional thought here from the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel chapter 16. Uh, we will be looking basically at the story that happens in verses 1 through 13. And it's really worth reading the whole thing. It's, it's a well-known story to many of you, but it's worth another read again. Uh, the big idea that we're going to go after here today in this devotional thought comes right out of the text. And it's simply this. God doesn't look at the things that people look at, whether it's your parents or your physique or your smarts or all that. The Lord looks at the heart. If you were in yesterday's daily devotional, you would have heard uh, the story about Joshua from Joshua chapter 1 uh, and the call that God gave him repeatedly to be strong and courageous. You might remember the context of that one. Uh, Joshua was this long understudy of Moses, but Moses had recently died and uh, Joshua had to be strong and courageous and uh, summon up that courage to go and fulfill God's calling on his life to lead the nation of Israel into the promised land. The context of today's passage, eh, it's a little closer or not quite as far back in Israelite history, uh, but it is talking about another successor as such. Uh, the first king of Israel was Saul. And at the time of this story here in 1 Samuel 16, Saul's kingship was in tatters. The Lord had rejected him as king. And the prophet Samuel was needing to anoint someone else. So Samuel was sent by God to the house of Jesse to go and to anoint a new king. You can see in, in verse 2 here, it says, But Samuel said, How can I go? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. So Samuel was scared as he was getting into this particular zone to do this thing. Um, but he went, and he went in peace. And uh, basically, when he arrived, uh, he uh, it says that Samuel saw Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. Eliab being the oldest, probably, of uh, Jesse's eight sons. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Man, it's worth it to just memorize that last line. People look at outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Well, uh, as the story goes along, a total of seven sons pass by uh, Samuel for his kind of inspection, as it were, and none of them were the ones that God had instructed him to anoint to be king. Uh, they got to the end of the seventh one, and Samuel ended up having to ask Jesse, you know, are these all the sons you have? And, and Jesse says, they're still the youngest. He's the one out tending the sheep. And so Samuel said, send for him. We won't sit down until he arrives. And uh, so they must have tracked David down out in the field, and they hauled him back in. And uh, here's what it says. So he was sent for him, and he had him brought in. He was glowing with health and had fine appearance and handsome features. To me, he sounds like Matt Damon just kind of walks in the door. <laughs> Then the Lord said to Samuel, rise and anoint him. This is the one. There's something really cool about that. I make jokes about his appearance here, but um, the Lord could see the heart. Later on, uh, David was famously called the man after God's own heart. Yeah, he was just a humble shepherd to begin with. The runt of the litter, the youngest of eight sons. But he grew up to be one of the most um, majestic and revered kings of all of Israel. So Samuel, here in this story, took the horn of oil, anointed him in the presence of his brothers, and from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord came powerfully upon David. None of us are David. I'm not. You're not. But just as we heard that word yesterday from Joshua to be strong and courageous, let's hear this word here today too. No matter who you are, no matter what birth order you're in, uh, no matter what you look like or what you do for a living, big or small or, or humble, uh, people look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So be a person after God's own heart. Amen. Let those words encourage you today. We'll see you back here tomorrow for another devotional. Thanks so much. 